You got this, man. Fake happiness. What's up, you guys? Toby here. And yeah, that was just my, uh, my attempt at practicing how to smile. I've been reading this book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. And basically it talks about how, yeah, people like people who smile more. And I noticed that I can't smile for the life of me because sad boy problems. There's a reason why we lose. But yeah, I've been practicing and I really want to try this out. I might do it today, we'll see. But that's what's going on for me. And also, um, I don't know if you ever... I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but last night I had this dream where I pooped my pants. And do you know how sometimes when like you poop or like you pee in a dream, you wake up and you actually like poop or pee in your pants in real life? I was like 100% sure I pooped my pants. Like I felt a pellet come out of my butt, but it might have just been like a fart or something. Um... <laughs> this is really weird. I'm, I'm gonna cut this. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, today I'm gonna be going to Long Beach to visit a friend who's coming back from Colorado. Um, his name is Aaron, he's going to med school. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> and then after that, I'm gonna be going to my friend Sean's birthday party. He's gonna be having Korean barbecue. I love Korean barbecue, I need Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue is my life. Second to Jesus, of course. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun, food-filled day. And one more thing guys, I was talking to my friend at the aquarium the other day and we were saying how it makes you feel good to get new things. And I agree to a certain extent, like I think it's good to treat yourself out every once in a while. But for me, it's like the complete opposite, like I never treat myself out and I don't think I have since high school. Like this shirt right here is like a US Open shirt, this is an old flannel I don't remember when I got it, like 4 or 5 years ago. This is a sleeveless jacket, you already know that's old. And this is a somewhat recent, this is a flannel I got as a gift, um, but unfortunately one of the buttons popped off and it was one of my favorite flannels too, so I'm super sad. And this is like one of my Postmates shirts, so half of these shirts, like they're not even from stores, they're like from work or like from some event. Um, this shirt's like a cross country shirt from back in high school. And everything else is just like really strange, like a Hawaiian shirt from the thrift store. Yeah, I'm like super low maintenance, um, but not just with the clothes, like. I didn't purchase a comb until like a couple of weeks ago. Like I never comb my hair. I'm gonna comb it today, but yeah, it's ridiculous. Like I, n I never realized how super low maintenance I am until just recently. It's worse than a blasphemy. Yeah. It's a uh, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit and ruining Aaron's surprises with the two things that we're not going to do. Come on now. <laughs> Can you do a body roll? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So everyone in the varsity is like notorious for being late. Um, so yeah, we might be here a while. Um, and it's okay, we got a good companionship. I'm not kidding you. That's really intense. I was a. Uh, Are you videoing right now? Yeah. Oh. I was at uh, med school, Dr. Aaron Ritter, MD. No, that's not my name. <laughs> this is gonna be showing up the uh, interwebs. Are you? <laughs> Take this down right now. And then also, I need to save up as well. So YouTube and all that. Oh my God. Is that my part? Is that my part? Because like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a small little, like a 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 little, like a
see some last year. I came to Benson that way. Who's like it? We went to we went out to the interview and all the events, but they went to Malaysia and Japan. Talking about uh, our days in high school, and I don't know about you guys, but I feel like high school is like a hell of a lot harder than college. Um, me and Sean are just talking about Algebra 2 trick. Well, it's one of the classes at Edison where you actually have to take a test to get in um, one year. You take the test after you complete geometry, um, but you have to get a certain score in order to stay in it. Um, yeah. Usually what people do is that they end up just changing to regular Algebra 2 or some of them like just have to expect the worst out of it just because just how tough that class is. Yeah. My sister took that class. She said it was hard. I only took Algebra too. I, I couldn't take that kind of risk. Yeah, I took it and that's like the one class in my life I was this close to failing. Right before the final I had like a 73%. I don't even know how, I thought I was like failing my ass off. But yeah, I took the test. I had no freaking idea what I was doing. I literally guessed on everything and I somehow came out of the class with a C minus. I don't know. I don't know what the heck happened. Maybe she just didn't grade the test or something, but I survived. And that was like, probably one of my my top five like happiest moments in school, just passing Algebra 2. That's how freaking hard it was. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, yeah, it's literally like hell. Like if hell was a, was a class, it would be Algebra 2. All right. Weak arms. All right, ready, set, go. Go. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I'm not gonna hurt you, dude. Ah, uh, yeah, Sean. <laughs> Woo! Tickle, tickle, tickle. You cheater. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, no, right? I'm hungry! Hello! Hello! I think so. So. Happy birthday, dear Sean. 